In this video, we're gonna go to IKEA. I'm going to organize, finding solutions to stay organized, cooking inspiration, and many more. Stay until the end to see them all. There are two issues that I wanted to solve in the laundry room and one of them was to cover up this outlet because this was the eyesore that we saw right away as we stepped in and the next one we have all sorts of things in our pockets and I have itty bitty things when I'm doing the laundry and these were ending up on the top of the washing machine and as soon as I turned it on they started to come up. <laughs> So I needed a fixed spot where I can put those itty bitty items and this little chef solved that problem. We celebrated another birthday and this birthday was I think the best word to use it epic <laughs> it was really so much fun the boys will really love that and we did a cleanup but I'm still finding those little rubber chickens everywhere <laughs> but it was a lot of fun now I can get back my focus on organizing and since we have a lots of yummy snacks this is what I'm going to take with me to the IKEA I came with a list, so make sure I don't lose the focus. Hurry in to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am holy? Back with the treasures, I had to buy a water pitcher because we had this for years, but somehow it broke in the dishwasher. I was really sad because we used this multiple times a day. I needed a whiz and we needed some light bulbs. Uh, yeah, this wasn't on my list, but I love the color so much and I thought it's gonna be nice for the summer when we eat outside. I was also on the hunt for a small salt shaker that I can keep at the table and I came across with this very practical one. This is another replacement because I lost mine. <laughs> I took it to the exercise class. I left it there and the next time I went back it was gone. So I had to replace that. And besides that, I got a couple of other replacement and I, I like to buy the spices in bulk. So I needed a pepper grinder and I broke one of those mixer as well. And I picked up this little brush that is super soft and the garlic press. And we got a few furnitures and organizers that I will share in this video, how we put them together and how we're going to use them and how I organize with them. We use this dining table from IKEA a lot. We have lots of friends gathering around that. We do projects with the kids. 
and we love this table but we took our time with the chairs and finally we find one that is actually the closest in color and comfortable that was a huge thing make sure it's comfortable and the price was very reasonable if i remember well it was 65 or 69 dollars and it is actually giving a more polished and finished look to the room I was looking for an umbrella as well that I can put on the middle of the table so that way if I move the table we're still going to have some shade this was definitely the cheapest way to go but the bottom we didn't purchase from Ikea we bought this off of Amazon because it was the fraction of the price to buy the base there I feel like the dining room is more inviting now it's just more cozy with these chairs not to mention that these gonna be more comfortable as well new day new plans i'm going to organize my studio today but first i have to catch up with a few things in the home and one of them is the kitchen Another short task that is on my list to clean up these shelves. And this was a tricky area to organize because we have the breaker on the wall here so i cannot put anything permanent shelf unit over there also this is the door where we're going in and out a lot but i didn't want it to lose that space so these ikea shelves were very helpful these are the things that i could probably possibly put under the sink without any issues but i like that i get to see them and it's very easy to reach for them A very quick repair and maintenance for this cutting board this is from ikea too and i use this multiple times a day i also bought some doormat from ikea and i like this because it has a rubber on the bottom and it's one thing it's not slippery but also that dirt doesn't go through that so actually it catches all the dirt unlike the other one i had before i'm heading out to the studio to organize and decorate this is gonna be so much fun Dang, my key is in my left pocket. But like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover. And sometimes you don't wanna come back cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously. Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories. This is still here. 
that's a cupcake from my younger son's birthday. <laughs> I forgot to eat that. These are the boxes that I thought I'm going to use but I don't have to. Having a permanent spot where I can create definitely helps with the organization that I don't have to implement complicated systems where I have to always put away everything after each task. A short funny story about this egg chair. My family was looking for me and they picked into the studio and they didn't see me there. They were looking around in the house, on the property, they were calling me and I was just peacefully sleeping in that chair. <laughs> I have this table and chair in case if I wanna have a little bit of a snack or I wanna have my friends over and I wanted to create a cozy ambience to it so that's why I bought this itty bitty lamp Jod is making some custom shelves where I can store the items when I'm doing the packaging. While I'm organizing, Joat is taking care of the outside things around the studio, the water drainage and the entrance, the porch. Lunch is approaching fast and I don't have a lot of things in the refrigerator but I had some chicken breast so I'm going to cut them up into uh, long narrow slices and I'm going to make some chicken strips I'm going to fry them and additionally to that to balance it out the fry thing <laughs> I'm going to make some salad to prepare our favorite sauce to dip the chicken strips in I have some leftover apricot jam I added some coconut aminos sesame seeds 
and a little bit of a cayenne pepper and I just mix it all together it's kind of like a one-to-one -one ratio as much as a apricot gem I have that's how much of the coconut aminos I'm going to add to add and for the salad I'm just going to use some balsamic vinegar and some olive oil that is infused with some basil First year when I started the gardening on the countryside, the first issue we came across with were theirs. They ate all of our strawberries, so we didn't see any in the first year. And the next year we were gardening it so well, it got so out of the control. We didn't have any strawberries because it were just too much of the little plants and leaves. So this year I want to try the container method. picked up a wrong product. I'm not driving back. I just have to suck it up. I wanted to buy the paper version of this organizer and I accidentally picked up the plastic one but hopefully this will be more sturdy and I'm trying to gather my idea what to use to pull out those little pins because I have no tools and I really don't wanna go up to the house just for the tools <laughs> so I have to get creative how to yank them out and change the position of the shelves Just this minor change in the organization to use the space vertically helped me to save two other shelves, two and a half shelves actually. So all the things that were in here before and took up all the space, I was able to fit them on one shelf. These narrow organizers from IKEA, I've been shuffling them for a while in the house because just so many good used to it. And now I'm going to use them on the desk because long and narrow and I can just line up all the paints so I get to see them. This little wall organizer is a great way to display items 
and I was thinking to buy four so I can display all my keychains and such and then I saw the price so I went with one <laughs> I will work with that but I love those little pockets I can put the little pins in there I can display the paintings that would have been great when I was doing the scan fair but in the studio I will display my products on this board Meanwhile, Jot is working on the porch and the surrounding around the studio and also he's creating the garden that will be right next to the studio. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!